Yeah, like X. So again, and X is the independent variable. So X is time. Like, you know, like they say, time waits for no man. Like time is going to go regardless, right? Y is dependent. So why the why is the value, but it's dependent on the value of the time or your X value and the other the other variables in the equation. So if we go back to, you know, calculating your paycheck, which your paycheck's gonna be in two weeks, you know, M in Y equals MX plus B, M is your pay rate. So if you're making 15 dollars an hour, right, that's your M, right? B, in a lot of cases, like you're not your B is gonna be zero because B is like the amount of money you start out with. Now, if you work a sales job, where you know you get a you get a guaranteed base salary, right? You're gonna get that four hundred dollars a week, and then like your commission is you know a certain percentage for every sale. Then that commission would be your M, and then you multiply that by you know well X would be the number of sales, right? And then that yep. would give you your value, give you your final value Y, right? So there's all these different you know different ways to use these these formulas, and and what y'all are talking about with the rule of seventy two, that gets into like compounding. So that's even a different formula, you know. So the money that's like Y equals A, A, B to the X power, where A is the initial amount that you start out with, B is the growth rate, right? So B is your growth rate and X is the amount of time, right? Whether it's the amount of years, amount of weeks, amount of days, amount of seconds, you know? Um, like your credit card companies on the other side, credit card companies, they do what, like daily compounding. So yep. they, you know, they're, 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 that's the formula they're using. So that's why, you know, of course, like that's the reason why is, you know, we know we should pay down our credit card debt, but that's the reason why you know, we should, because like that, that that's why that, that loan, that loan debt is going up constantly, you know, cause those are the formulas that they're using. So, you know, but yeah, the, but the time is, time is so key. And like Tom is always left out of, Tom is often left out of the, a lot of, a lot of the conversation. I say that in every and presentation I ever value. do. I, I say that in yeah. every single presentation I do. The thing that people miss when they talk about money is time because nobody knew, like nobody wants to let the money cook. Everybody wants to microwave the money. Nobody wants to let it cook. And the thing yeah. thing in the equation that makes money grow the fastest is time over you know, well the rate of return over time. Like that's the that's the part people always talk about rate of return. Nobody talks about the amount of time that it takes for that rate of return to get back to you. And so I have a lot of, you know. I have a lot of things about, you know, the, the, the time value of money. Cause I, I tell people, you know, when the time value of money is about three things. It's about your money will never be more valuable than it, tomorrow than it is today because of inflation and because of quantitative ease. So when it comes mm -hmm. to money, the time value of money, your money will all, no, your money won't be more valuable tomorrow than it is today, unless you do something to make it more valuable. Right. right. The second thing is with the time value of money is that every every day you wait is a day that you could have been trading. So so all the money lost from the day you could have started to the day that you do start is is lost time and money. So that's the second part of the time value of money. And the third thing is is that you got you got an expiration date. So you need to you personally have an expiration date. And so every day that you're not investing is a day that you have to spend time and energy working. So the time value of energy has, I mean, the time value of money has a lot of different repercussions that people don't understand, right? Because if you don't put your money to work for you today, you're still going to be working for money 10, 15, 20 years from now. And I didn't understand that as a youth. And if I had understood that as a youth, my, my later adult years would look totally different. But not having that understanding, which is, is why I wanted to teach kids that the, the, the rule of 72, mm -hmm. the time value of money that, you know, your money will not be more valuable tomorrow. Save it, invest it today, because tomorrow that tomorrow is a day that your money is growing. And then every day that you don't do it is another day that you don't get that value. You can't have that value. So the time value, the, the time value of money is. is is about those three things. Your personal expiration date, the days that you miss by not doing it, and then your money losing value over time. So you have to you have to have a, a greater understanding of the, of the time by your money to be able to make the money that you're supposed to make. Real quick, um, Fidelity did a study. Fidelity was trying to figure out um, which of their clients had the best rates of return. Oh man, that's and, crazy. And, and what they found was it was their deceased clients. And the reason their deceased clients had the highest rate of return is because they left things alone. 
and and because of time because of time and then just leaving things alone and letting them work they had higher rates of return than people that tried to trade people that tried to move in out of our positions so i mean it's just proof that sometimes you just have to let things be 